All right then, so let's go back to the code. Um, and let's go to the terminal and let's create a new page using the Angular CLI. Component pages slash, and then we'll call this new task. So now we have the new task component. So let's go to the HTML, the template, and let's leave it like this for now. And let's go to the routing module. And let's create a new route here. Yeah? We'll put it here. So uh, new task. And the component will be the new task component. There we go. So let's save that. And let's go back to our app. And let's try and go to um, slash new task. And we get the new task works come up. So that's good. So let's go back to our code. And um, let's go into the new list component. And let's see how we did that. So the new task component will have a very similar layout. So let's just copy and paste the new list component.html. And let's go back to the new task.component.html. And let's paste that. And let's just change some things up. So uh, create a new task. So let's change this to task title, task title input. And let's change this to task name. And let's say cancel, yep. Yeah. And create. And let's change the method name uh, to create task. Uh, and it will take in the value, which is good. So let's save that. And now let's go back to our app and we have this, but we don't have the styling for these classes. So what we can do is we can go to the new list .css. So what I'm going to do is, um, is cut this and, um, and move it to the global styles. So let's go to the global styles, which is in main dash styles.css and let's put it here all right save that and go back to our app and we now have the modal box here so that's pretty much done um and we can now have the task name now we have to create the method that is run when we click the creates button so let's go and do that now uh, let's go um to the uh, new task .html and it's calling create task so let's go to the um component class and let's create that so create task and it takes in the title and let's actually look at the new list class and let's see what it's doing here so one thing that i forgot to do here is we forgot to put the navigation in here so what we should do in the new list .components is we should um, now navigate to slash lists slash the ID of the new task. So here what I'll do is I will um, type in private router and let's say uh, router and I then want to use this router to do router.navigate and then we want to put in the commands here. Okay, so here we'll put um, slash lists, and here we want to put in the response dot id. Okay, and save that. And now we can actually test this out. So let's go back to our app, and let's just go back to here, and let's click on new list, and we are taken to this new list page. And now let's put in a name. Um, Okay, and let's click on create and now it should redirect us to the task view. So let's click create. Okay, so there we go. So um, we got redirected back to the main task view and the selected item is now the new list that we just created. Okay, so now let's, um, so now that we've uh, done that, what we can now do is um, not use the type of any. That is bad practice. So let's actually create the models for the lists and the tasks. So let's create a folder in app uh, called models. And let's create a new file here. 
and let's create uh, task.model.ts and here we'll type in uh, class um, which will be called task and here there will be a title of type string and there'll be an ID string so let's go and see in the server side model uh, the task model here we have the title and list ID and that's it okay so that's all we need um, oh yeah and the list ID yeah so the list ID uh, so, so yes that's fine uh, save that and let's uh, now create the, the list model and let's do the same thing So here there will be the ID and the title. And I think that's it. If we save that and we go to the list model, we just have the title and the ID. So um, that's all we need. Let's close these now and go back to the new list, um, the new list .ts. And let's change this um, to type of task. Make sure you import that as well, by the way. Okay, so um, save that. And let's actually change this to um, task. There we go. Okay, so that's what we need to do there. Uh, and now let's just go and make sure that it works the same. So let's try that again. So let's do new list. And let's say uh, this is a new list. Press create. And it works perfectly fine. So we get the, we get the new list here, which is great. Okay, so let's go back and okay, so we've actually made a mistake here. Um, this should be list. Let's just copy and paste this here. And it should be of type list. Okay, uh, let's import that. Great, okay. And let's delete uh, this. Okay, great, okay, so that's now fixed. So now let's go back to the new task.component.ts. And here we um, have to inject the um, task service. So private uh, task service. There we go. And we have to go to the task service now. So let's find that. And let's create a create tasks. Let's just copy and paste this. And let's just rename it create tasks and it will take in the title and uh, we want to send a web request to create a task so this dot web request service dot posts and then uh, lists and then here we need the id so it also has to take in the id of the list so list id of type string so here we will use um, a template string using the back tick and we'll just put in here the list ID there we go uh, and then slash tasks there we go and that's all we need to do and we can actually just um, move this uh, so that it's down below here so it, so it makes a bit more sense and we can actually move this one as well so let's move this down here Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, now let's go back to newtask.component.ts and we also need here the list ID. And here we can do this dot task service dot create task. And we have to actually rename this. So it's um, create task. There we go. Okay, um, create task. And here we need a title and the list ID but where will we get the list ID from because we can't really get it from the template because we don't have the value in the template what I think we need to do here is put the list ID within the root so then we have um, slash lists slash ID slash tasks slash new task so let's go back to the routing module here and let's uh, change this um, change this root here so we're actually going to um, move this down below here. Let's move this. And let's say um, lists 
slash list ID slash list ID slash new task um, slash list ID slash slash new task that makes sense yeah okay and um, so now we can save this and we can go back to the new task .ts, and we can now um, get uh, the root so um, private root which is of type of activated root there we go and we can now subscribe to the parameters changing uh, and we've done this before in the um, task view component so let's um, look for that uh, let's just copy and paste this code that you've got here uh, let's go back here and paste that so we have the params here which we have to import and we have this dot tasks, which we don't need here. So we don't need this code here. Let's remove that. Uh, but what we do need is we need to set a property, which I'll create now, called list ID. And we'll set this dot list ID is equal to params dot get, and then we'll get list ID. Uh, that should work. Let's see if it does. So let's do console.log here. List ID. And let's just check if this works. So let's go back to the front end. And um, let's get the console up and running. And let's go to new task. Uh, so slash list slash the ID slash new task. Okay, great. Um, but we get parents.get is not a function. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's because I was using dot get and and we can't use this syntax. We actually have to use these square brackets. So let's get the square brackets up and let's try that instead. That should now work. So that does work because we now get the ID here. Great. Let's go back um, here and let's delete this console log. So that now works. We now no longer need it to be passed in the parameter here. We can do this dot list ID here and now let's try and subscribe to this here subscribe and here we'll pass in the new task that's been created of type task save that and let's now console log the new task there we go let's go back to the app and let's see what happens when we create a new task um, new task and let's click create Okay, we get an error, which is interesting. Cannot read property value of undefined. Yeah, okay, so it's because um, the template has list title input. So this has to be changed to task title input because we changed the, the name of the template reference. So let's save this now and go back to our app. And now let's try again. Um, this is a new task and let's click create and we now get the new task which is pretty cool so now let's go back um, to the task view and we can see that we now have the new task show up here okay so that's great so now let's go back to our code so now let's make it so that it redirects us back to the uh, task view so let's get the router And let's do this dot router dot navigate. And uh, here we, we have the commands. And the first thing we'll put in is slash lists. Actually, we don't have to do this because we can use relative routing here. So, so let's do dot dot slash to go to the um, to go back one sub root. And that's what we have to do really because we are just getting rid of the new task bit of the root. So that should be fine. Let's save this and go back to our app and see if it works. So let's go to um, slash new task. And let's create a new task. Click create. Okay. Uh, that wasn't what I expected. And I think this is because we have to set a parameter on the router.navigate. And I think it's the relative to. Yeah, so it's the relative to property. And for this, we need the activated root. So we can do this dot root dot um, URL 
I think that's it. Oh, right, yeah, so it's just that. There we go. Save this, and let's go back to our app. And now it should work, so let's go to this list. That is the one that we just created, by the way. And um, let's go to slash new task. And now let's try and create something. Click create. And there we go. So it's actually created this new task, and it brought us back to this page, which is great. Okay, so that's amazing. So let's just remove this uh, quickly. Uh, that is in the task view. So let's go to the task view, uh, which is here. And let's uh, get rid of this console here because we don't need it anymore. Save that. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to make this add button link to the new task uh, route. So let's do that now. Let's go to uh, taskview.component.html, which is here. Okay, so let's add uh, the router link here. This will be dot slash because it's a relative root. Uh, new task. That should be it. Let's go back to the app and let's see. Let's click on the button. Uh, nothing's happening. Oh, okay. It, um, okay, so it's not happening when I click on the button, but it is when I click on the uh, plus icon itself. So that's because I put the router link here and not on the button. So let's put that here. Let, and now let's save. And let's go back. And let's click on the button itself. And there we go. Okay, so that works now. Great. And now let's try and create something. So let's say... Um, this is a new task, one, two, three, four, five. So let's click create. So there we go. So we now get this new task here, which is great. There we go, okay. So now we have this new task button working, which is great. Now what we can do is we can uh, create the functionality of setting tasks to complete. What should happen is that when we click on a task like this, then the task should be set to complete and then the state in the database um, should have a property that says completed true or false and that will then be set to false. Okay, so let's start implementing that. 